Good morning everyone, me again. Um, today I'm hoping to do two pages with you, um, so I need to crack on and, and, and do less of that. Do less of the chat. Okay, this one, held down with a paper clip. You can use magnets of course, um, but just to, you know, do something a little bit different, um, I thought we'd do it with a paper clip. Uh, this one actually folds out, but it forms a pocket here, and then it folds out the other way. Right, so you need a full page spread. Now I decided that I liked this lady, um, and the only way that I could use her as a full page spread, without chopping off her hands or her head, um, was to include her in, in something like this. Um, if you decide that you like that side but you don't like whatever is on the back side then you can cover it over with coffee dyed paper or similar um, and stitch it round so that when you open it up the other way like I've just done here then you've got something to write on right so that's the magazine one so I'm going to show you the new page that I've done for my second signature for the magazine and I decided to use the fruits in pickle one all right because I quite liked some of the written stuff that's on here some of them are hysterical if you've ever read any of this magazine um it just shows how much we've moved on since then but this is the one that I'm going to use and then on the back side it's helpful hints from a cook with a camera in the Christmas kitchen and it's all about icing the cake yourself and mince pies so I quite like that as well so I don't need to bother about covering it over so I'm not using this as um as a written space I'm using this as an image area that I just like what's written and, and the, the pictures that are shown I also like the fact that this becomes a little bit of a title for the top edge of the page now obviously you will need to trim down the width of the page to suit the depth of your paper all right or your pages and we're going to form a w an m sorry oh, w an m that's a w carol that's an m um so we're going to form an m shape all right so i'm going to just demonstrate with the digital paper now <clears throat> excuse me so basically I'm folding the paper in half and then I'm folding this edge back on itself to that centre fold so as you can see on this I printed on both sides of the paper and then this edge we're going to fold back on itself so it's going to go under and fold back that way All right so what I've got is edge of the paper fold edge of the paper and on this side I've got fold and fold all right and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over because this is the side that is now going to be stuck to the page in my signature so the folded edge is going to be the entry to the pocket so I'm going to place glue along the three sides leaving the folded edge with no glue I'm just going to stick that right there on my page now you don't have to stick it in place you can just paper clip it in for now like we've done on the um, previous signatures so that then it can be glued in at the end once the signatures are in place inside of the cover. All right. So now with this 
cut edge of paper I could put a tab on there a circular tab or a tab punch tab so that then that then pulls out that way and as you can see I have writing space there but then it opens out fully that way to reveal that and there's writing space up here right that one's simple enough wasn't it now what I did on my original one was before I glued it in place I actually placed some um, lace underneath here just on the edge of the paper but there's no reason why you can't attach lace on this outer edge here instead all right and then that would just be held down with a paper clip to hold it in place can I just say ladies that one of the one of the things that I did want to mention was you've all made some really really lovely comments um, on each of the videos that I've done and I really truly appreciate them believe you me I'm, I'm just sorry that at this moment in time I just haven't got time to respond to them all um, so at least if you've got a little heart because I'm working my way through them all at the moment um, you know that I've read it um, but I do appreciate it thank you so much I'm so glad that you're enjoying the series so that's that page we're done all right next page <laughs> now do you remember in the last signature I said once you've done all these elements you can now start to add all these extra little um bits of paper to add a little bit of extra um elements to it uh, in terms of short long paper bags glassine bags envelopes or and doilies all those extra things that you can tuck inside the pages of your signature well this is one that you can create using a full um page all right so we've got a little half a one there little half a page there with a border punch on and then the opposite side of it is this one which then this flips out and reveals a little belly band there and then I've just quickly made a a bookmark that will just slide underneath that belly band All right and the way in which we do that is here's one I prepared earlier so basically we're just going to fold in one side the left hand side of one of our coffee dyed papers all right so it's a full piece of paper and i've just folded in this left hand side to the amount that i want so i could have just done it as a an inch wide would have looked a bit silly um uh, let me just i always do that i always use the wrong end of this ruler i think i need to just scribble on this end so this is a three inch three inch wide fold all right and that will sit in there so this fold here becomes the crease where all our signatures will all our pages for this signature will meet all right it's actually gone on the, on the next page so let me just remove that one there we go so that will slot in there as you can see this bit is too long the back side of it is just too long so I can either just fold it in just visually but I know that I want it going the other way or I could measure the width that my pages are meant to be I could see that my pages are five and three quarter inches wide so then I would measure from this initial fold here I would measure across five and three quarter inches and then do this then as the fold in so that you've got fold in fold in but this fold here becomes where all your signatures will then sit and then that one becomes just an extra little flap for you to open to go ta-da there's something there now we can border punch this edge 
you could put lace excuse me on this edge and the same on this little flippy bit too you could border punch the edge you could put a little bit of lace on the edge it's entirely up to you the only thing that i would say is because it's coffee dyed paper sometimes you find the edge of this paper really quite crinkly and hard just trim like the merest fraction just off the edge of the paper before you do any paper punching the other thing i would recommend is have another piece of paper underneath there as well because sometimes it just makes the paper a little bit hard for the punch to go through and if it has another piece of paper underneath there as well to support it just use another bit of paper so you can put one of your scraps under there so you're actually layering the two pieces together before you insert it into your punch so it's got a double thickness of paper Oops, sorry you can't see that so it's got a double thickness of paper for it to punch through it'll just give you a nice sharper edge sometimes if you only put the single sheet in it can rip and tear and get stuck and then you end up tugging your paper about um so the second sheet of paper just helps to support it and uh, makes the punch work instead of it having a hissy fit so those are your two pages for today a flipping and a flipping but this edge here this folded edge here becomes where the rest of the signature is going to sit so we'll just show you second signature so that's going to be my pocket that's the flippy out bit with the letter m and then that's the little flip there with its opposite flip underneath there that's it for today nice and short and sweet right i'll see you tomorrow bye